Well, it has been 17 years since the notorious pizza bomber took place that claimed the life of Brian Wells. Samir Nefsi joins us now in the studio with more on the two masterminds behind what's called America's most diabolical bank heist. Hello, Samir. Dave, good morning to you. Investigators started to link two main suspects, of course, that being Marjorie Dill Armstrong and Bill Rothstein. We have Marjorie right here, Rothstein right there. Uh, so everything started to come together after Rothstein called the police about a body in his freezer. From there, the dominoes started to fall. When former special agent Jerry Clark looks back on the case, he remembers being intrigued by the woman the world would grow to know as the evil genius behind the case, Marjorie Deal Armstrong. I was totally anticipating this intensity and it was immediately there and she was so unique. Outside of mental illness, she had two components that would make her a danger. She was extremely intelligent and manipulative. Marjorie gets credit as the mastermind, but Bill Rothstein was the one that put this all together. The FBI released a profile with characteristic traits the suspect or suspects would have. It didn't fit either of them. But when you put the two of them together, it really was very accurate. I mean, the combination of those two people working together fit that profile. Both Deal Armstrong and Rothstein claim they had no involvement in the case, something investigators called bogus, adding there were connections between Wells, Deal Armstrong, and Rothstein. What they had intended for him was to die. And that's the sad part of this, and he had no idea. An unsettling aspect of the case for Clark is when he asked Rothstein on his deathbed to confess. He lifted his big arm out of the bed and said no. And four days later, he was dead. So he brought it with him, and it was the ultimate, you know, see you later, I'm much smarter than you, and you're never going to figure this out. This was a, a gang that in a lot of ways couldn't shoot straight. I mean, for all of their knowledge, for all of their book smarts, they came up with a plan that was extraordinarily inefficient. Deal Armstrong would later go on to develop cancer and die at the age of 68 in a state prison. Clark started that fire. It was not spontaneous. To this day, the pizza bomber case remains one of the most bizarre in history of American justice. Now, some of the case's biggest questions are still unanswered. And of course, with many of the key players being dead, now they may never be. Dave. All right, Samir and FC reporting. Thank you.